and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a sunset eye makeup look. So there is a big trend this fall season for pink eyeshadow shades. You will find on the market lots of beautiful pink uh, cherry eyeshadow palettes. I am really really in love with red and pink shades to go with a night makeup look. It's really a big trend and it's really something that I love to do and I really really think that this kind of shades can suit lots of different eye color. Green eyes, blue eyes and even of course brown eyes. If you enjoy like me this pink color I hope you will find the pink eyeshadow palette that you love. I already did a tutorial using the Stars in Your Eyes eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury which has some pink shades and some gold shades. I really really love this palette, beautiful palette. Today I wanted to do another kind of pink eye makeup look using another palette which is the Amour Amour palette from the collection Violet and Estée Lauder. So some of you requested in me that I show you how I play with this palette and I'm very glad you asked me to do that because I really love this palette. It's a very beautiful palette. The eyeshadows are so great, so easy to blend. They blend very smoothly, you will see on the tutorial. So it's very easy to achieve a more creative eye makeup look, I would say, with this kind of eyeshadow and of formula. So this is the star of the show for today, the Amour Amour eyeshadow palette. There is another eyeshadow palette which is called Dahlia, so it's a blue tone eyeshadow palette. I already did a makeup look with this palette. I will put the link down below, so if you want to check it, you can. It's also very beautiful, very a big statement in terms of eyeshadow shades, but uh, very beautiful palette too. So today we will play with those colors. So you will find in this palette eight eyeshadow shades. So you have those kind of pink shades, those kind of light pink shades, you have this gold, this lovely gold shades. This one is more beige satin shades and this one is a really dark uh, brown with a little bit of red in it. I did not use this one today, but I used lots of those eyeshadows, so pretty much this one, this one, and a little bit of this one. So when I look at this palette, it really remembers me uh, the sunset that you can see during summertime, which is just beautiful. I think in all the worlds, we all can at some time uh, observe this kind of beautiful sunset when you can find some pink shades, some red shades, uh, and a little bit of orange burnt shades that I really love. That's why today I used this palette and I combine it with another product from this uh, collection which is called by the way La Dangereuse from Violet and Estée Lauder. And the other product that I use today is a glitter pot which is called Burning Stars. So when you open it you will find some rusty orange glitters. So with these glitters you can achieve lots of different things basically. Last time when I did my blue eye makeup look with the Dahlia palette from the same collection, I used this glitter on the top of my lips, on the top of the metallic liquid lipsticks La Dangereuse, which is a really dark, deep, uh, cranberry uh, with a little bit of pink in it, shades, very nice. And I add a little bit of these glitters in the center of my lips to add some light, like a little bit of sun in it. Today I decided to play also with these glitters on my lower lash line. So first, I love these glitters because it's orange and it goes perfectly well with this Amour Amour eyeshadow palette, which is on the pink sides. Second, I use this glitter on my lower lash line just because of my eye shape. Just play with the makeup and the colors, but adapt it to your eye uh, shape, basically. We can see my lid, but I don't have a huge space on my lid to be able to play with lots of layers or shapes. That's why I always go a little bit up on my crease when I'm doing a kind of smoky eye in a way. So I wanted to balance this uh, eyelid, which is a little bit small in my opinion, with something stronger on my lower lash line. That's why today I used my Burning Star glitters on my lower lash line to bring uh, this sunset look 
on my lower lash line. I have green eyes, so an orange glitter shade always goes well with my green eyes. It will make them pop, that's why I really, really like that. So if you want to see how I achieved this sunset eye makeup look using the Amour Amour eyeshadow palette from Violette and Estée Lauder, just keep on watching. I start with my Dr. Jar Tiger Grace Repair Serum. I really love this serum. There is aloe vera in it. It's very great to smooth and calm down my sensitive skin. And I combine this serum with my Dr. Jar Tiger Grace Color Correcting Treatment. So at first, this cream looks very sticky and thick in a way. You need time to work it on your skin and your skin need time to drink it in a way. It's a little bit green, but I really enjoy this daily cream. There is an SPF 30 in it, which is great. And it's very hydrating, very calming. It corrects all my redness. And it's a great cream if you don't like to use any foundation because it will cover all your redness like me. For my lips, I'm using this Uriage Xemos Moisturizing Lip Balm. It's from the Baby Line. I really, really love this lip balm. For eyes, I'm using this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. It's a sample, it's a small size, but I really love this eye cream. It's very creamy and it's very great to repair my fine lines and to hydrate my skin on this area. For foundation, I'm using my Guerlain Lingerie de Peau Aqua Nude Foundation. I have the shade 02 Light. I shake it before to apply it because it's an aqua base foundation and I apply it with my Sephora Pro 52 brush that I really love. My daily cream did a great job on covering all my redness, so I don't need a lot of foundation for my complexion today. I love this brush. It's very easy to have a light hand to apply your foundation. I apply a thin layer of this foundation all over my face, also on my lid. And yeah, I really, really love this foundation. It's a very lightweight foundation that I don't feel during the day and it let my skin breathe. For correcting, I'm using this Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. I have the shade SC3 and I apply it with a tiny pencil brush, a little bit dense, all over my blemish. So I grab some product on my brush and I will apply it on the blemish and I will blend a little bit around to make sure I don't have any line or any area of discoloration between my complexion and this corrector. And I love to finish with a larger fluffy brush on the area where I can become red during the day, so especially around my nose. For my under eyes, I'm using this Laura Mercier Secret Concealer. I have the shade 2. It's a great concealer. It's a creamy concealer, so I love that. It's not too thick or too heavy, but it corrects very well my under eyes if I am a little bit darker under my eyes and I love to apply it with my fingers. For my brows I am using my Burberry Effortless Eyebrow Pencil. I have the shade Ash Prone so I really love this eyebrow pencil. It's a basic eyebrow pencil but I love the shade. I start by brushing my brows to see where I miss some hairs and I will fill them with this eye pencil and I always make sure I brush everything after to make sure we don't see any formula on my skin because I want to achieve a natural finish. And I like to also to brush my brows in the other way. So this way I will see my line and where my line is missing some hairs too. So it can be a little bit helpful too. To set my brows, I'm using my Yves Saint Laurent Couture Brow Mascara. I have the shade one. I love the tiny brush. I will make sure I only grab my hair and I don't apply any formula on my skin. I will use my Chanel Intense Eye Pencil in the shade black. I will tight my top waterline with this black pencil to make sure the root of my lashes are very black and very intense. So when I will apply my mascara, we won't see any skin. Everything will be very black. And then I will apply my Eat Cosmetics Bye Bye Pro Pressed Powder all over my lid and under my eyes with a fluffy brush to make sure everything is set before to start to use my eyeshadows. And this is the start of the show, the Estée Lauder and Violette Amour Amour eyeshadow palette. I will start to build my crease with this lovely matte dusty pink. 
So first, I create the shape I want for this eye makeup look with my eyeshadow brush. So I will start by applying this lovely dusty pink on my crease and I will blend it very, very gently because I don't want any harsh line or anything like that. I'm very careful because this first color will define the shape of my eye look. And I try to do the same on the other eyes to get this symmetry that I'm of course looking for. And I blend a lot this crease to make sure everything is smooth and well blended. And I like to finish with a clean fluffy brush to blend one last time. I will now apply this lovely apricot pink shade. There is some sheen in it and I will apply with a flat eyeshadow brush this lovely shade all over my lid. So we will start to see the sunset that I was looking for with these lovely colors. And I apply also this shade with a tiny detail brush at the root of my lashes because I don't like when we can see my skin. I want a complete sunset eye makeup look. Now I will move with this lovely dark dusty pink. There is some sheen in it. It's a little bit darker than the first one that I used for my crease. And I will apply it on my outer corner of my crease to add some deepness to this look and to bring back a little bit some pink because my lids are very sunset, like a pink orange. So I want some dark pink on my outer corner of my crease. And I will blend this lovely shade with all the others. I love to layer the shades for an eye makeup look. And if you want to correct your shape, you always can use a cotton bud like I'm doing to clean your shape. Now I will move with this lovely gold shimmery shade that I will apply with my finger in the center of my lid to add some sun to this eye makeup look, basically. And this is time for glitters. I will use this Estée Lauder and Violette glitter pot in the shade Burning Stars with a tiny detail brush all over my lower lash line. So I'm very careful. I don't want any fallout. It's glitter, so it can fall out, of course. And now I will curl my lashes with my Bobbi Brown eyelash curler before to apply my Giorgio Armani Black Ecstasy Mascara. I have the shade black. It's a very nice mascara. It's less intense in terms of volume than my Chanel, but that's why I'm using it today because I'm really looking for to get these butterfly lashes. So black light lashes to go with this eye makeup look. To set my face, I will use this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I really, really love this powder. It's very an easy powder to use. I apply it all over my face. It's very thin and it works very well also with this foundation. I am not getting oily. It stays all day long. I really love this powder. To bronze my face, I will use my Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze. I have the shade 01. It's a very light bronzer that I love to use for winter. I apply it with my fluffy brush from Bobbi Brown and it gives me a little bit of sun that I really love even during winter. For blush, I will use this Chanel blush in the shade Quintessence. It's a really fresh, warm pink that I love to apply on the apple of my cheeks with this fluffy blush again. And for my lips, I will use this Giorgio Armani Rouge d'Armani Matte in the shade 500. It's a beautiful light pink that I love to use on an everyday basis. The formula is so great. And I apply it with a bullet and I will blend it with my fingers very gently. I'm not using a lip pencil today. I will build the shape directly with a bullet and correct it with my fingers. I want a thin matte layers. To add some glow to my face, I'm using this Estée Lauder and Violet Soft Glow in the shade La Rosée. I love this highlighter. It brings me as the glow that I want and just where I want it. So on the top of my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose and on my cupid's bow. And this is the final look. So I personally really, really love this eyeshadow palette. I know it will be out in the US in December, if I'm not wrong. Just check Violette's Instagram. She will let you know, of course. 
But yes, this is a beautiful palette. There is no fallout with this palette. This is really something that I really love because when you do your complexion first and after the eye makeup look and you have lots of fallout, it can be a little bit annoying, but not with this one. So great job on the formula. They blend very smoothly, very nicely. It's very easy to use them. It goes on the eyes very smoothly. Always remember to use also a nice eyeshadow brush that you love and you're confident with, and it will be so easy to achieve any kind of, yeah, pink eye makeup look that you want. And don't forget to use an eyeshadow makeup brush that you love, that you trust, and which make you confident to achieve this kind of eye makeup look. An eyeshadow brush can be a little bit costly. You have some good brands out there between Zoeva, Sigma, also MAC. It's more expensive, but it's a good brand for eyeshadow brush. But a good brush will last you 10 years at least if you clean them well and if you take care of them. And it's a very good tool to achieve a very nice eye makeup look. So it's true that the good tools will help you to achieve any kind of makeup. Another product that I wanted to mention also to you today is this new lovely and beautiful Giorgio Armani. So it's the Rouge d'Armani Matte. Look at this matte packaging. So it's very, very lovely. I love the magnetic cap. The design is always lovely and great and well think in my opinion for Giorgio Armani. So this is a Rouge d'Armani matte, so this is completely matte. I used today one of their famous shades, which is the 500, which is a lovely light pink, a little bit on the dusty side. Very nice if you want a more natural pink lips. It's not completely natural, of course, it's pink, but it's not a Barbie pink. It's more a wearable and chic and modern pink, in my opinion. So I really, really enjoy these lipsticks. It lasts a long time, it's not too heavy, it's not too drying, another great matte lipstick. For this fall season, there is lots of lovely matte lipsticks. If for Christmas you want a pink eyeshadow palette and a good matte lipstick, there is lots of them out there and I really hope you will find the one you love. Thank you so much for watching. Don't hesitate to let me know what you think about this makeup look. I always love to read your comments. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.